Hello, Mark Rossfield here. We've got TaylorMade R11. So the TaylorMade R11. Let's give it a hit, a little chat about all the changeable options on this club. Um, obviously it's the white top, so let's give it a few hits, see what it's all about. So hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got TaylorMade's much talked about R11 driver. So you've got the white top. So obviously Taylor made of bringing the white to lots of their golf range. Got the white top, black face, black sole with white sole, plus a few dials and digits on the bottom to get stuck into. So what you're getting with R11 comes with the R11 head cover. Typical R11 or TaylorMade branding. Comes with a little instruction manual to tell you a little bit about the many different settings and what have you. And also you get your all important wrench. So, R11, what's it about? We're getting a 440 head shape on this club. So it's a 440 head size. It's a slightly smaller head than say your 460, which there's a lot of drivers out there with a 460 head. Um, you're getting your amazing looking white top, which I do like. I like the white, looks sharp, looks good. Taylor made is saying no glare and the rest of it, but I personally think they made the club white first and then maybe thought of the, uh, the bonuses of it second because they just like the look of the striking white. It goes with what they're about. Uh, but I like the white. It's got your changeable weights on the outside, help, go, help you maneuver the ball left and right. You've got your changeable sleeve. This helps change the loft of the club, also the lie of the club, so that determines uh, or influences the height plus direction. And then you've also got the uh, little red sole plate on the bottom that dials around to give you three settings of a open, a neutral, and a closed setting. So look, I'm going to give this a wallop. I've got it in the neutral red setting on the bottom. It's a nine degree stiff shafted, star sh uh, stiff shafted driver. It's just a standard tailor-made shaft. Um, but I've got it in the slightly lower, so I've knocked it down one degree into an eight degree lock, which is what I like on my driver. Um, so let's give it a wallet and uh, see what R11's all about. So putting the club down by the ball looks good, sits nice in the neutral setting. I do like the 440 head shape. I like the white, like I said before, it does look good. Um, let's give it a wallet and see how it feels. Here we go. Okay, that feels good. About there. Yeah, that's blue. Let's give that another go. Feels good off the face. It's um, loudish. It's not the quietest driver, but uh, not good. Let's give that one another go. Yeah, that feels nice. So R11 there feels good off the face. Feels similar to the burner. Um, the burner TP at my at the moment is my preferred tailor made driver out of the range they've got. I like the simplicity of the burner. So the big question for me, which you guys can post your comments, let me know if you're using this or have been or thinking about doing it. There's a lot going on with this driver. Now there's a part of me that feels that for the manufacturers is the more gizmos and twists and turns you put on the driver, the more you can sell it for, which uh, often maybe means a bit more money for the manufacturer. Um, also, um, I mean obviously I like the fact that they're trying to push the limits with the way the club moves and what have you, but 99.9% .9 of the people buying this driver are not going to get into anywhere near the amount of settings that this club can do. But that's not the takeaway from it. Obviously it gives it a lot of scope to a lot of golfers. Um, let's give it another wallop. Yeah, that feels nice. So, okay, let's take the key. Let's have a play with this simple red dial on the bottom. We're going to set this up to a closed um, and see, uh, have a feel what it does to the, uh, the ball flight. So literally all I'm doing is, I'm undoing that bottom red plate. I'll give that an undo. And then what happens is, once you've got it high enough, now I do find this a bit awkward. I think this is quite fiddly. There we go. Once you've got it high enough, it then will dial, so you'll see that moving, it spins around and you move it into the setting you want. So add it in the neutral. I'm now going to put it in the C, which stands for the closed, and just do this back up. So doing it back up, I'm presuming 
there's going to be a click. So set that up into the close. Let's see if it does actually go any further left. Let's see if we feel that tightening now. Yep, so there is a click. That clicks into place. So here we go, R11. Oh yeah, it does. It, that's turned it into more of a closed setup. Let's give this a hit and see what this feels like. Yeah, it feels nice. So that's definitely turning a bit more to the left. Okay, let's give it one more hit. It feels good. It feels really nice. I do like this. Let's give it one more. It feels heavier than the burner to me. I don't know why that is. Swing weight's the same. Hey, turn around and tell you that. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, R11, it's a good driver. That does fly well. I don't think I'd put it in my bag. I personally like the TP burner a bit better. I'm not such a massive fan of so many twists and turns or what have you. Just for the customers I'm selling to, I know they're never going to get stuck into this. But look, guys, let me know what you think. You know, you might be having this driver, changing it every week, changing it every month as you change. You know, let me know. I'd like to know what you guys think of all the changeable technology on this club. It does feel good. It's quite a deep face on the uh, R11. Feels nice. It looks good putting it down behind the ball. It does go well. It performs well. Um, good looking driver. Tire tailor made R11 with more technology than you can shake a stick at. Let me know what you think, guys. Any comments, post below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.